Welcome everyone. In this session, in this video, I will be talking about few issues with this laptop that I'm trying to reset. Uh, so let me show you what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to reset this PC. This is a laptop. Uh, nah, this is the problem. So, so I'm getting this error message every time I'm trying to reset this uh, to a factory default. So the issue, so this is a laptop from Lenovo itself. So it's a Lenovo laptop. And then this laptop was out of the country. So somebody had borrowed it and they went out of the country. They went out of Canada. And since this is used at work as well, what I was, what I'm worried about is that it came back infected because they did connect to a Wi-Fi network at the hotel or wherever they were at the conference. So at the airport as well. So I just wanted to be careful in terms of a kind of putting it back into production for somebody else to use. Um, basically, the best way to do that for me, the easiest and quickest was to just reset this PC. But when I tried doing it, it didn't let me kind of, um, as you saw, right? It says the environment does not exist. So why am I trying to do a reset? So I've been just reading online. And again, anybody in the IT sector would know this, that the best way to get rid of um, viruses and malware is to reset the computer to factory. So um, there are lots of threads online. Um, yeah, the reset works. Uh, but again, there's some viruses that can stay in the BIOS. I don't think this was infected that way. But uh, even the bots saying, yes, the factory reset will indeed remove all the viruses and malware as registered in the original state when it was first purchased. So this machine is activated and everything. Um, that's the only reason I'm doing a factory reset. I have downloaded the um, Windows ISO image from Microsoft website. You download the Windows um, uh, Media Creator tool. I will. Uh, I have the video for that as well when I did the, all the downloading and whatnot. So uh, this is where you will grab your Windows 10 media or installation media. So you go to microsoft.com slash uh, en slash ca software download. You can just Google this as well, downloading the uh, Windows 10 installation media. It will take you to this site. Uh, actually, if you want to do different version for Windows, you can go one level up, and then you can choose Windows 11, Windows 10, Windows 8, or Windows 7. So if you have Windows 11, you'll go to the Windows 11. You'll download the tool or installation media. For me, for this video, it's Windows 10. So we're gonna go to Windows 10, download the tool. And once it's downloaded, you just run it. And then you pick and choose uh, the ISO option instead of installing it or creating a USB drive. It does take a little bit while even to download the ISO, then it takes even longer to actually create the USB uh, drive. So either or whatever method you wanna use, uh, it is up to you guys. So instead of doing an upgrade for this PC, because it's running Windows 10 as well, it will give you that option. You're going to use create install installation media. So next, you can pick and choose uh, don't, uh, the version that you want. So 32 bit, if your laptop is 32 bit or whatever, like different languages you can choose. 
Um, this is fine. 64 bit. I'm going to 64 bit. Go in next. And I'm going to use ISO file. So you click next, it will start downloading the file. It asks for the folder location. So again, uh, I had downloaded it. I have downloaded it. Uh, this was an afterthought to kind of add this portion into the clip because I already done this part earlier. I forgot to do the recording of it. So you download the file and you'll see the rest of the video after this section. So I just copied it, uh, the ISO image that I created from that the media creator that Windows gives me. I moved it over to my USB drive. So this is my USB drive and I'm gonna just copy it over. Let me switch my the screen. So I'm gonna copy this file over. I'm not gonna create a USB drive uh, installer because my Windows is working fine. So my Windows is working fine. Uh, I haven't connected to the network either. I don't want it connected to the network. Uh, by the way, I'm using Elgato. So if you're wondering how am I connecting, so I'm using my Elgato HD60S Plus to, uh, for getting the feed from the HDMI because it gives me better quality. I did try to do it through the camera phone, but the quality wasn't that good. So I'm doing it that way, uh, using the HDMI output, using the Elgato capture card to uh, fetch the video feed. So I have my keyboard set up, my mouse set up on this system here. It's a completely offline system. It has never been connected to the network or at least the work network and my home network because I don't want it to infect my system if it's got anything on it. It's not misbehaving or anything. It's working fine. I don't think it's infected, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I'm going to just bring the USB over to this machine. As you always uh, eject that uh, USB drive that you have. So I just ejected that. Hopefully it's got enough USB ports for me. I think it does. Let me put that USB drive in here. So the problem is, uh, let me show you what the problem is. USB drive. Let's just open the file here. So this is the Windows ISO image file. Uh, before I go into mounting and showing you. Uh, what to do. Let me show you guys what the problem is. Um, let me open up a command prompt. So put this thing to the side. I have two keyboards that I'm managing right now. I have USB safety. Command prompt. Open the command prompt. Login as administrator. I'm logged in as administrator. Uh, this should hopefully also work. Uh, if you're not, well, actually, no. We're resetting the yeah, computer. You need to be admin, so you have to be an administrator on the on the laptop. Uh, so let me show you the agent the agent I think I spelled it right info okay so the agent slash info it says uh, there's supposed to be a Windows RE location right here on this line it has nothing on it it says it, so if I try to so the fix the first fix that you should try if you see a proper path in here this is what I would suggest. So if you're getting this error message while trying to do a reset, so if you get this error message, I could not find the environment uh, recovery environment. Uh, close that. This is the first thing you should try. So don't even try downloading ISO. So you're going to do reagent slash enable. You can try that. Oh, wait, uh, we agent, did I spell it wrong? Oh, we agent C, I forgot the C. Uh, it says image not found. So if you have the image mounted properly, it will say enabled. I'll show you guys uh, what exactly. I'm gonna leave this window open. Leave this window open. Let me change that a bit so it's a little bit more legible. Okay, now the problem is if I'm going to go in here, so I go to the PC, so C drive, uh, let me, so let me show you guys, uh, so view, we want to look at the hidden files and we want to look at the system files as well. So let's enable those. So I'm going to unhide uh, system protected files, click apply and click OK. So go under Windows uh, and, and in there system32. 
So we go in the, there's a folder called recovery in there. So in here, there's supposed to be a file called winre.m.win. So that file doesn't exist. We're gonna to attempt to fix that here. So first thing, try enabling it. If that works, great. When you do have success, just do the reset process, it'll work. But if you run into this, that it does not exist, uh, this is what you need to do. So I've downloaded the ISO image. I'm, I don't have a bootable USB. You do need to have a 10 gigs of, um, or not 10 gigs, sorry, eight gigs of USB drive, because as you can see, this is 4.8 gigs size of the image file or size of the ISO file okay, so give you the copy please why is it not fixed it come on there you go sorry the mouse is a little finicky so 4.6 gigs uh, let's move it over let me create a so I'm going to copy that control C and we're going to create this is the first step once you have the USB so the USB I'm using a USB drive if you think you're comfortable connecting to the network at your home network you can do everything on this laptop but on i want to be on the safe side i don't want to infect anything on my network i have downloaded the image on the usb drive and i have put it over i did not bother creating windows installer you don't need to and let's get a new folder let's call it um let's call it original ISO. We're gonna go in there and we're gonna paste it. Once it's copied over, it should take that long. Maybe it will. Four minutes. Ah, that's okay. Once it's copied over, we will need to. I'm gonna show you uh, while it's doing that. Show you the commands we we'll need to run. So these are all the commands that we'll need to run. Um, in the past or older versions the install.vim file like this is the file that you need so install.vim file used to exist on the iso the recent versions of windows 10 iso that you get they have the .esd file so uh, we will have to convert that to the wim file and then from there mount it and then enable and kind of reset the laptop again it doesn't it does take a little bit uh, depending on the little bit uh, longer if you got like for example a system not running ssd this system has an nvme so the copy paste the extraction and everything kind of goes pretty quick so again these are the commands that you need to run once the once we get the iso image so we'll need to get this file off that mounted drive i'm going to pause this while this copy is happening uh, right here and I'll come back once the copy has completed so the copy has completed let's do uh, I have my commands uh, open on the other screen that I'm going to look at and then I'll go over uh, so Windows C drive um, original, so I created a folder called original ISO. Uh, we're, we need to create another folder. So uh, that I'm going to call it mount WIM. You can call it whatever you want. It doesn't have to be mount or whatever. But uh, I'm going to create another folder. If we'll need that, we'll use that. I'll show you guys in the commands that we're going to run now. Um, so I'm going to unmount. Let's just do that. I'm going to eject the USB drive because we don't need it anymore. So that is gone. Let's open up. Nope, not that. You don't need the store. Let's open the C drive version. So we have the command prompt still open. We are going to browse to this folder. Actually, before I do that, we don't need to browse this folder. We are going to mount it. So right click or double click. Either or will work. It will, will work. By the way, you don't need to do this ISO mounting and whatnot if you already have the USB drive. So if you got Windows 10 USB drive, install install a USB drive or Windows 11, you can just pop that USB stick in. And this is exactly what you'll see on the USB drive as well. So 
this is what you so you can copy over so you can follow along if you have the usb drive plugged in um as well so you need to just copy over certain files so i believe this install the esd file exists in the sources but we're gonna just search for it so let us search so yeah it does exist in the sources folder uh the size is 2.8 gigs so let's copy it uh, let's copy it over to our iso again we're going to use the same folder we're going to use the same original iso folder i'm going to paste it in here and we can unmount that, that's all we need from that in, uh, windows installer so that is the only file that you'll need and we reject that as well we are now going to browse to the original iso folder go to the directory listing you can see it's got install.esd file so we need to run this command i should have copied the command over to a text file and then then copy paste but i guess um, this way you guys can follow along as well if you're doing it get slash web file folder install you see and that is it case sensitive i think it is case sensitive i thought it was not case case sensitive, case sensitive. gt or T dash vim info oh I put the M instead of M so maybe that was the reason so I'll I'll, I'll try it out so okay so why we are doing this because we need the index so I think it it is case insensitive so vim file okay so yeah never mind i just had the n instead of m m as in mary so i had man n as in nancy uh why we did this so because we need to get the or we when i say we you guys will need to get the proper index for the version that you're installing so for example this laptop originally came with and activated with windows 10 pro so i'm doing this is windows 10 pro itself so i will need to install windows 10 pro so my index value would be six so it's better to kind of just write it down uh, so my index value is six from a windows pro because we're going to need that uh, so again if you have windows 10 home edition uh, for example here it should have been index number one and so forth so once we have the information, uh, we are going to extract that um, the image file, or we're going to extract the WIM file from the EST file. To do that, again, I am on the same folder. So DISM, this is the command you need to run. Again, here's where you will need the index. Slash source. I probably don't need to worry about these capital letters and whatnot. Install.esd. Again, my, my install.esd file exists in the same location where I'm running this command from. So make sure you're in the right folder with the file. Otherwise, it might say a path not found or file not found. So, so oh, source index so this is where i'll need to put the, or you'll need to put the index so mine was six uh, yes mine was six uh so if you have windows home i think it is one destination image file where you want to save it yeah we, we're going to save it in the same folder and these are the flags we need to use and it should take about five minutes or so once it's done uh, we'll come back i will probably just let the recording go and then just fast forward it so once it's done uh, we'll do the next step
So that just completed. Um, and I'm going to show you guys what actually happens. So I have this PC, version drive. Um, so we got the install.wim file extracted. So that is all we need. Now we're going to mount it. So uh, you'll be surprised. Uh, so when I do the mounting, you'll be surprised to see how much uh, expansion happens or how much space is actually being used. So let's run the other command that is uh, needed. So we got the so we got the installed wim file. Now we're going to mount it. So that's why now we're going to use this folder that we just created. So create a folder or you can use original ISO as the folder as well. So create a folder called mount wim or whatever you want to call it, mount dir or just mount. This is the command that you'll need to run. Again, sitting in the original ISO folder that I have here where the file is, I uh, will need to run this command. So a disk and ESM mount dash wim wim file this is where the file is located so ours is located here original iso slash install dot wim i'm just hitting tab to get the path so you can just do that as well instead of typing it in so here you'll need to just put this um, path where this file is found index one mount dir c all mount vim so this is up oh, not vim uh, mount vim this is the folder that i created so, so if i if i so for example if you don't have the folder already you will get this message that hey the directory doesn't exist, so make sure you have the mount directory or, even, or, or that folder created. It's going to finish or it's going to do the deployment. I think it takes a little while. Again, I will let it run and then come back. Okay, so it has been mounted. Let's see if you can see any of it. Uh, down here, there you go. So, uh, it, so oh, if I do the properties on this folder, it's going to be more than four gigs. So, uh, like, look at the size of this. It's like a full install installer that you would have for Windows 10. So it extracted everything uh, in here. There is, I, I don't know if I need to do this, but uh, I'm going to show you guys that technically the file should exist here. So this is the file that we are after. Uh, it should exist in your, in your Windows, basically. The, the, the laptop or the Windows instance that is corrupt, that doesn't have the recovery image. So this is what we are after. That's it. This one file. For this one file, we have to do all those things. So next thing, you don't need to copy anything over. You just need to enable. So you're going to go the agent C. Now that we have mounted it, right? So we're going to do reagent uh, C slash again info. Uh, it's disabled, and now if I try enabling it. It says, oh, not found. Okay, sorry, so I do need to do this bit. I am going to copy over. So 
sorry guys i thought i didn't need to just do the steps so i'm going to copy over the win rme file so we're going to copy that so that we located it so under your mounted folder windows system 32 recovery and there there is the winre.vim file we are going to move it over to the recovery folder and paste it to this is your windows so your windows uh, that's corrupt copy it over and then we will try it again it should work this time and as you can see it did work it said operation is successful the file should disappear yeah it does disappear off you run this command but it is all good we are going to try doing a reset and that is it should be able to do the reset on this laptop get started remove everything and there you go i can change the settings i want to clean up and delete the workspace so again i want to do full cleanup delete the workspace resources and no i don't want to download the windows and confirm and reset so that is all you need to do to fix this problem and if I do the info again, it should give me a path. And there you have it. So it's enabled. So what happens after you do the reset, uh, the tool, this, you don't have to do all these steps again, like, ever again, uh, because it does kind of uh, create the recovery partition and everything for the next time you need to reset. So this is a one-time thing. If your Windows was corrupted for some reason from factory. So my laptop came like this. I don't know why this is a Lenovo laptop uh, with Windows Pro on it from factory. Uh, I did reach out to the support and uh, I wasn't able to get much help from them. Uh, so I ended up uh, Googling lots of things uh, and was able to find this solution. I, if you like this um, video, if you did this, it, if this did help you guys, Please do post your comments below if this was helpful for you guys. Uh, it is much appreciated. Your feedback. Uh, I always like to see your feedbacks and comments. If you like this video, please do hit that like button. Please do subscribe. It does help the channel. It does help keep us motivated building or uh, creating these videos and whatnot. Um, please take care of yourselves and stay safe. Um, over the past few weeks, I've been super sick with flu and whatnot. So not a fun time for me the holidays were ruined for me because of that so hopefully you guys had a wonderful holiday and um, please and uh, i hope you guys are getting back into the groove of working again after the holiday break and uh, please take care do subscribe if you can uh, it is much appreciated take care guys bye